She's got so much bling, I can't read her name. <laughs> show that card around. Show that card around. It's a show card. Third card. Nobody's hungry. Everybody's starving. Nobody's getting their food. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What? Look, look. I'll mix it in the pack like this. If I could get your card to jump out of a shuffled pack, would that be a cool trick? That would be cool. I'm working on it. What? <laughs> <laughs> my job looking on my shoulder. <laughs> Hold your hand up flat for me. Flat. People always ask how I balance my family life with 400 shows a year. I'm just doing what I love with the people I love. It's my magic life. All right, girls, it's 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Do you know where we're going today, Lana? Lana, do you know where we're going today? <laughs> Las Vegas! Ow. Let's go get some warm desert air. I'm tired of the cold, honey. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Let's I've go where it's warm. all t-shirts for you. Let's go where it's warm. Short sleeve t-shirts. Let's go get on this airplane and go. You ready? You ready to go, Lana? Should we pretend to sleep again? <laughs> we gotta go, kids. Alright. Arrived in the airport. Lana forgot her earphones, so Wes went back to get them. We checked our bags. All our carry on junk is here. And we are ready for Vegas, baby. But first, we have a stopover in Boston, so. Here we go. Hey, Lana, we're here. Yeah. We're at Penn and Teller Theater. Theater. We went to the check-in, but there's nobody here. Our airplane didn't come in until way late. But, uh, there it is. There's the boys. What do you think, Mommy? How cool is this? Yeah. Are they like taking it. care of us or what? So far, so good. We have a nice room. And we went to at the airport. Yeah, they picked us up at the airport. Got personal transportation over here. Pretty cool. What do you think so far, Lana? Yeah. Is Vegas pretty? Is it pretty? Yeah. Did I tell you about the lights that you can see from the airport? Told yeah, you, told I you, am told hungry. you. You're hungry. Well, let's go fix that. No. Everything was closing to eat at when we got here except for the pizza place. So we got pizza and bottled water. We got pizza. And it's going down. And show off our room. We are this way. This down. Way. No, Lana. We're oh. 60. Ooh, that's the elevators. God. We're down this way. No. Just uh, messed up. I thought oh, that was sorry. the hallway. It's just the same this carpet is the hallway. and everything. Here we are. This is us. You have to like do it like this. Uh-huh. Now take it out. Okay, you can't do it that slow. Oh. Arrow. Arrow's right there, baby. Yeah, she did it. She did it too slow. In and out. There you go. You're okay. Alright. So over here, you got the bathroom. Ooh la la. Come over here. We have a nice sized room. Sorry. How nice is this? This is my whole bed. This is awesome. We get to stay here for four nights and spread out. Wait, four days? Four nights. But we get to spend hey, Thursday here too. Look who's on speed dial, Mom. Cool, Penn and Teller. Really, let's call them right now. Nice. Really, or you? No, boys? we're being silly. All right. I knew it. Let's eat. Let's Your blueberry's hungry. Let's see. Okay. My what is hungry? Your blueberry's hungry. 
Your baby. Okay, okay, Turn it. Turn it. The baby has its size as a blueberry. Mmm. Oh. Does that look good? Just so you know. Yeah, looks good to me. If you guys don't get the joke. Alright, Nat. Hey. So we're with the uh part of your interview already. We are in Planet Hollywood looking around, looking at events. Looking at a place to film. I did my interview portion earlier, and uh, now we're just looking for a place to do some other sets. This is pretty cool. Green screen section, now you're doing your on location section. There you go. <laughs> Fancy schmancy. Are you having fun? We gotta catch this guy. We gotta catch this guy. Nice one. starting to show up to do the shoots. He's gonna do some stuff in here. Yeah, they're looking at their magic and talking. Do some stuff elsewhere too. Far so good. Me and Lana are just along for the ride, and Lana's loving this wide open space. Look at her go. Woo! Say Vegas, baby! Look up at me, though. Look at my hand here. One, two, three, boom. And put your arms down. Uh, not behind your back, just by your son. Say Vegas, baby! Say it! Can you say it? No! We're in Vegas, baby! No. Alright, Wes, take over. We're in Vegas, baby! Vegas, baby! <laughs>
morning we wake up and we had to film the 45 second intro mm -hmm. which took like three and a half hours we um, did an interview portion then we had to go scout locations did some magic at different places and costume changes and who knows where they're gonna go with that we're just excited as you are I know they filmed three and a half hours worth of stuff that's gonna be edited down to 45 seconds so they yeah. can go in a million different directions who knows where they're gonna go yeah all right here's some time casual rehearsal so here we are my wife Natalie my little girl Lana. hi badge we filmed our 45 second picture dad we filmed our 45 second uh, intro opener over which took three and a half hours three and a half hours for 45 seconds that was oh, intense and then we had to audition in a um, just a, just a, a room rehearse. we had to rehearse in, a, in just a, a, a banquet room just a, a cold room in front of like eight people and um, we had to wait two hours for that I think they were running behind they were a little bit late um, but other than that a, yeah it was fantastic everybody was so awesome everybody was giving us uh, tips and pointers and the director was saying they couldn't do this we had to get the guy up on the stage on this side and giving notes to Allison about stepping back and out of my way as I shake the winner's hand and different things like that that was really cool really top-notch they're really they're doing on top of it. They everything know, they can to take care of us. Obviously, they know what they're doing, and they but, got it down. But they do know so, what they're doing. Yeah. And earlier today, I did a thing about Dad, talking about he was my biggest fan. And they yeah. printed out a picture for me to hold and do a magic trick with. And at the end, uh, they said, uh, Lana, would you like that? And what did you say, Lana? Yes. <laughs> she wants to keep that in her bedroom, picture of my dad. So now she has her own, and she got that from Fula. So that's pretty special. Yeah. She wanted a souvenir. That's an She's awesome souvenir, and it didn't cost us anything. <laughs> I think we're done. I think we're done. Yay. We'll get you a souvenir. All right, let's go eat. I'm starving. Me too. We got up this morning at 8 o'clock. We had to be downstairs at 9.45, and uh, we had a cliff bar for breakfast. It's now 5 p.m. We've been running all day long. Let's go eat. Okay. Don't put the plane. Let's go do it. And get a souvenir. <laughs> They have one job. They had one job. What the heck? Let's put that on Snapchat. <laughs> Why is it on the floor, honey? I don't know. They have one job though. <laughs> Maybe it's because people are drinking so much they're staggering. Uh, they're in my room and they ain't it this way. <laughs> so we knew we wanted to do a viewing party. We knew we wanted to have our friends and family together to celebrate not only me winning the trophy, but then I was on national television. Whether I won or lost, national television is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. So uh, the whole time during quarantine, I'm racking my brain. Where can we do a viewing party? Where can we do a viewing party? I and we be just, allowed to do a viewing party. Yeah. yeah. So then we looked into renting other places, and people wouldn't even return phone calls because we were in phase two. Uh, just trying to rent a place. It just wasn't feasible. So we said, we'll just do it here. We set up a my big screen in the backyard it's like an eight foot screen my big high quality projector in the backyard set it all up to watch the cw that day it was very flickery it was very hot yeah. it was super super hot that day so everybody that got here they just went in the house and yeah it's much cooler in the house can't play one yeah hmm. It, it worked out great. Party night. Show starts in about 20 minutes. It's uh, hot outside. It says it feels like 103. Humidity, it is crazy. But here's the party. And then when we go back to the camper, you go out in the sound and have fun. 
Yeah. Same as a horse fly. Oh. 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 But, uh, are you videoing? Party night, party night. Woohoo! Party night, party night. This is where the kids are hanging out. Party night. Starting with the big kid. How old are you, kid? 16. Not quite an adult yet. So. Lana, you're hiding. I can't see you, baby. Are you excited? Your dad's going to be on national television. What do you think? I'm proud of you, dude. This is going to be awesome. What do you think, kids? I don't know. Woo! You think so? Yeah. What do you think, JC? Let's take a vote. You have no idea. Well, thanks for your faith, I JC. I appreciate it. You're gonna win because you gotta pay a lot for the baby. Oh, I do. I have the wins coming. You're right. You're good. Woohoo! Woo! Okay. Yeah. Darn it! I don't want to focus. I got my makeup done the same time she got her done that day. <laughs> <laughs> we were back to back in the makeup chair. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, I, mean, I lost my dad to Parkinson's disease when I was 25 years old. Now that we've had some success in our career, we worked with a Parkinson's disease charity in memory of my dad. If my dad could see my career now, he would be so proud because I know he's still taking care of me. Oh, that was good. I have tears on my phone. <laughs> I think they show it, but it was a bottle of champagne. Uh -oh. I oh, did you see that? Yeah. My family. Your daughter performs as well. Yeah, I have an eight-year-old daughter, um, and she's on the road with us, my wife and daughter and I. And, wow, and yeah. when did she start performing? When she was four days old. Fourteen. <laughs> uh, so my wife uh, was told that we were going to have a baby uh, December 31st. That's great, but that's New Year's Eve. That's a big night for magicians. So I'm like, if I'm not at the show, I'm gonna get sued. If I'm not there for the birth of my child, my wife's gonna kill me. Dude, what do you do? <laughs> so uh, we induced her. She was born on the 28th, and four days later, we took a final bow with her at the end of the show. Oh, so. nice. Is he there? <laughs> Is she here tonight? Yeah. Teller said to me, that is the most pen trick we've ever had on the show. <laughs> that was what I've been trying to do for about 10 years. I always want the entire audience to be voting and be eliminated. I'm always looking for that. As soon as you started it, started the premise, I was just crazy in love with this routine. Um, I don't care what Teller thinks of it, although Teller liked it, I liked it more. <laughs> you traveled here with just a coin. Yeah. Now, here's where we come down to where the games actually play, okay? We first thought <clears throat> that you were taking a glimpse of the coin before you decided head or tails. We decided you didn't do that. We know you did not get a glimpse. We think 
There's a switch there. After she examined it, you're using a gaffed coin. We're trusting on your honor. Is the coin is the coin gaffed? <laughs> Not a gaffed coin at all. <laughs> no, sir. Shut up. <laughs> Okay. There's nothing I like more than chance. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pull out the damn coin. Pull out the coin. Put it in your hand. You flip it in the air. You catch it. I'm going to call it. If I call it correctly, you didn't fool us. If I call it wrong, you fooled it. Same way you did it. Well, stand up and play the game. I will play the game. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Here we go. Um, okay. You're gonna get it wrong. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. That doesn't even how it goes. <laughs>